and welcome back. And in honor and celebration of March being Women's History Month, we have Diane Peabody Straw of the Women's Museum of California on our sound stage. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you have a great name, Diane Peabody Straw. <laughs> I don't you. know why I had to say it again. It's <laughs> okay. Thank <laughs> but it's you. It's a great name. So the Women's Museum of California. Yes. When I went on the website to uh, look at your information, only one of Three? Yes. What do you do there at the museum? Uh, well, we produce original exhibits, primarily focused on women's history, telling stories that probably should be in history textbooks but aren't. And uh, we also feature women artists and to make sure they have a platform as well. Do you have any particular, I don't know, stories of the exhibits uh, currently at your studio that people are like, you know, I had no idea that that woman did blah, 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 blah. Oh, so many, so many. We actually, we have a permanent exhibit focused on women's suffrage and uh, we love that because we're f featuring California suffragists as well. Uh, California was actually the fifth state in the nation to grant women suffrage, so we were really trailblazers in that way mm. uh, locally. And then we also have an exhibit called Groundbreaking Girls that is temporary. It's up through the end of April, and it's the artwork of Allison Adams, who is a portrait artist, and there are over 40 paintings that feature women both current and from history that have you know been huge trailblazers as well so you'll learn women about women who how, who we all should know about exactly yeah. Yeah. and you know i've always i was just curious because you hear adams you're like is she related to <laughs> ansel adams you know i thought I'd, i thought i'd ask so groundbreaking girls is yes. the name of that exhibit yes. and then you also at the Women's Museum of California produce the, is it the a film festival? What is yes, that? Yes, yeah. it is the Women's Film Festival, uh, San Diego Women's Film Festival, and uh, it is happening in April, and it's a two to three day long film festival depending on our number of submissions. Uh, submissions go all year long, and then we select some lucky, incredible women filmmakers to, to come out and show their work. And how many, uh, that has been the San Diego Women's uh, film, film Festival has yes. been, how many years has uh, that been? Five years we've been going now. Congratulations. Yeah, and how has the response been to the festival? Fantastic. We, uh, last year we had several shows sell out. Uh, we've been really excited to see the community response and we've also had filmmakers fly in from around the world as far as Bali or London mm. or India mm. to uh, show their work and, and speak to San Diegans about, about what they're up to. So. Yeah. So there you are at the Women's Museum of California, and mm. people are like, oh, you know what? I didn't know, and only three in the country. Mm -hmm. How can yeah. someone become involved, or can they become involved? Do you have classes and workshops? What's? Oh, yeah, we have workshops and events going constantly, so please check out our, our website, our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're, we're on all of it, and just love bringing people, new people in anytime, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us on the show today. And that's it for our show with Oceanside Spectrum. Be sure to check us out on social media. And thank you for joining us on Oceanside Spectrum. I'm your host, Kelly O. Davis.